Hey everybody, uh, welcome to a video on how to create a new Google Classroom for your new grading period and or semester. So first of all, why would you wanna do this? There's a couple of reasons. Uh, right now, currently, Google Classroom does not have the ability to uh, enter grading periods, i.e. make grade uh, period one or quarter one unavailable after quarter one has passed archive in uh, assignments it's not available the other reason is that um after you've used it a lot you may find it's just not as tidy as you want it to be uh, you also might find out that when you go into your uh, classroom it loads a little slower uh, depending on how again, much you have in your classroom. So the recommendation, uh, especially for the next semester, for this semester coming up, is to create a new one. And here's how you do it. The first thing you want to do is go into your classroom and notice, um, here's my science classroom. Um, what I'm going to actually do is before I, um, before I do anything with this one, I am going to uh, go ahead and make my new one. So how do I make my new one? If you remember correctly, you go to your dashboard and you go to plus sign and you're going to say create class. In this case, I'm going to call it Ainsley Science 2021, same one. But in my section, I'm actually going to put uh, semester two. Now, if you are using the integration between School Tool and Google Classroom or any other integration, you'll need to follow the protocol for that to, to push over rosters and to integrate rosters. You'll need to make sure that the title is exactly as it is in your management system, that sort of thing. So with that said, you may not be able to, to change this. You might have to make sure that it's exactly the same. You're going to go ahead and create. Once you create your class, uh, obviously, if you remember correctly, it'll give you a kind of a theme for your header. But I want it to look the same way. So I'm going to say upload photo. Great. So what I did was I went ahead and I uploaded the same image that I had before so that it's going to look very similar to the one that I had before, but it's going to be a new one. Now, once I have this all set, I'm going to go ahead into my settings up at the top and I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to, um, these are the settings I had, only teachers can post and comment on the class work uh, on the stream. I hid notifications to make it a little bit neater. Um, so these are settings that I had before on my other one. Um, and so uh, I am also going to, if I want to, I'm going to go ahead now and make sure I make my grade categories, especially if I'm integrating with school tool or another student management system, I will make sure that the grade categories are the same as the ones I have in that other system if I'm integrating. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to, you know, say, you know, I want the total points weighted by category, whatever I want. I'm, I don't normally show overall grade to students, um, but I will go ahead and I will add my grade categories in here. Um, also, some people have found that it actually works out really good to do grade categories by quarter. So this is a new semester Google Classroom. You may decide that you want to do uh, quarter three, uh, and that would be like uh, classwork, maybe. And then you might add a quarter, uh, quarter three. Uh, three, uh, oh, class work, <laughs> uh, quarter three, maybe this is um, quizzes. Um, and then you can go ahead and you can default the percentage um, the, of the grade as well. And then for quarter four, you'll do quarter four class or quarter four. And that some, some people have found that that actually helps with keeping things a little more organized from quarter to quarter, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and do that 
and you're going to make sure that um, you save it, right? So it's going to all be saved. Okay. So I've saved my settings, and now what I'm going to do is going to my classwork. And then the same thing as before, we said that we want this to look exactly like the semester two one. So we would create the topics that were in semester two. Um, so I've gone in and I've created the same topics that existed in my semester one class by going to create and topic. If you have any emojis or anything that you want to put in there to make it similar, you want to go ahead and do that. I had my other class organized by unit, but there were some common uh common topics that I want to make sure that I include, including resources and daily questions. So now that you have your new classroom ready, the next thing is to obviously get your students transferred over. There's a couple ways of doing it. Obviously, if it depends on how many students you have and how you would like to do it. If you are integrating your rosters with your student management system, then you will simply unlink in your student management system the roster from semester one and then link your new semester two to that roster. You have to unlink the first one, then link it, and they'll all come over, and that was sweet. So if you do that, great, perfect, they'll come in. You can also then go to students here, and certainly uh, you can send the link invite to the students for them to jump right in. You just copy the link invite, send them in. You can also uh, add them uh, one at a time if you only have uh, you know, 20, 25. It's not that bad. They populate. The, there is another hack that I'm going to put a uh, a a link to, um, and it, it actually involves going to classwork and in your other classroom. So going back to your first semester classroom, and it involves going to classwork and going to any of the assignments and going into the grade area here and going up into the settings of here and actually um, downloading uh, grades as a CSV. And it will actually pull all of the email addresses of your students, which is kind of cool. You just copy them then and you literally will go back to your first one and, or I'm sorry, your semester two, and you literally will take those addresses, go to people plus, and you'll paste them all in here and it will invite them all in bulk. So that's the other way of doing it. And I will include that link uh, here so that you can look at it if that's how you want to do it. So you're going to want to make sure you add all of your students into your new class. So awesome, you're all set. You have your new semester two class all ready to roll. Now, the only thing you need to do now is go to your semester one, and you probably would have already done this, but you'll make sure that all the classwork has been returned to students. So they have everything returned that needs to be, everything is graded, everything is all good to go. And if you integrate with School Tool, all of your grades have been imported from semester one. Then you're going to go ahead when you're all said and done, and you can reverse this if you need to go back in, but you're going to go to your semester one and you're going to click on the three dots and you can go ahead and archive. All right. It'll say, do you, you sure you want to? Yes, I absolutely do. Archiving allows it to be removed from your dashboard as well as the students. So when the students go in the next time, all they will see is semester two. They won't see semester one, so they won't get confused. It'll all be archived. And now you can move ahead with a nice, neat and tidy semester two and moving forward for the second half of the year. Uh, as always, if you need any help or if you're not sure exactly how to do this and you want help, don't hesitate to email me. I am here for you. Have an awesome day.